Right, seems as though some didn't want to play ball. I've uh, have moved. So yeah, so they uh, currently are in reverse. Let me put that back. Thank God. They are the top number there is engine revs. The and there's three ranges: F1, F2, F3. There's also R1, R2, R3, which means reverse. Now they're three preset speeds. They're not really ranges. They're just a desired speed, maximum travel speed that you wish to go to. So at the minute. I'm in the bottom one because it's highlighted and I've got that set for 4.5k. I'll show you how to adjust them in a minute. Uh, the one underneath is my actual speed. That says 000, and the little bar underneath that is for the add blue. Now, down here, we've got my PTO speed, rear lift arm height, and front lift arms, lift arm height, so front linkage height. Uh, that tells you percentage, 100% uh, is fully up and 0% is all the way down. Um, and that one at the top is the engine oil pressure, I do believe. Still struggling to see it. Now underneath there, there's lots of various things that you can use to bring up different menus and different things, different bits of information on that screen. So we'll, uh, we'll maybe go through that another time. Moving across to this side, I've got the Pro 700, the AFS Pro 700 screen, which, uh, which is, is pretty damn good to be honest with you. Customised everything on there, so everything that I want to know as I'm working, I've got it set up and ready. And then the next page, I've got it set to Ultima Hydraulic Flow, timers, lockouts, all that sort of thing. And I've got Hitch on there, so just. You can pretty much, you've got all these different things along the bottom and you can set it to whatever you want, uh, what you want to see. So, go back to the main menu, so briefly, uh, you've got all these different options, so toolbox, tell you what operator it is, you can change the layout, tell what vehicle it is, what implement you've got on, if you've got video cameras, you can plug video cameras into it, um, and about your implement, your GPS, that's all in there, diagnostic, is basically I've uh, really that's for um, for the fitters really data management um, again that's really for your, your GPS but we don't have the GPS through the Pro 700 screen so run screen that's the main screen performance gives you your area worked time uh, distance travelled all that sort of thing you get instant and you get range which tells you how long you've got left like I've got 80 85 hours worth of fuel left at this engine revs uh, so overall that's since the tractor was uh, new yeah, right isobus that's when you have isobus implements plugged in remote valves that's just the same thing and i've got that set on my run screen yeah, that's to change your flows and your um, and your timers and lockouts work condition that's uh, you can you can alter your draft control uh, basically you can set up an implement on that screen say uh, subsoiler um, and you can set your your wheel slip your uh, maximum lift height your sensitivity of it everything on there for um, for that desired implement and it'll just quickly flip back to that uh, to that implement so right let's go to another one, work condition headland management uh, well, that's that'll be quite a long video to go through the headland management, so we'll do that separately. And wizards and utilities. There's one thing on here that I use a lot. Some alarms there, obviously not them to wake me up at dinner. <laughs> uh, the calculator. It's really handy just to use that when I'm when I'm drilling, just adding up areas, and kilograms, and things like that. I use that quite a lot, so that's dead handy to have. So yeah, back to the run screen. Right. So I'm just get that all white. I don't want to see any dust. Um, right. So down here. These are the levers that control my hydraulic remotes, which are also known as spools. That's number one, two, three, four. I've got five uh, spools on this tractor, and I operate the fifth one on the multi-controller here. So you push them all the way down till it clicks like that, and that puts it into flow, and that releases all the pressure in the uh, in the lines, and then. Uh, pull it backwards that's generally pull it backwards for pressure and generally it's forward for return but that's just how people have it set so 
joystick at the front the minute i've got that set to control my front linkage um but it can be used to with a loader if you have a loader on this tractor you use a loader pull it up push it down left and right for your buckets and attachments now you can alter that to just work off of a spool so if you want to tip a trailer with it you can alter it so you just pull that back to tip the trailer up go side to side to open the door um, so that's really useful but I generally just keep that set as my front linkage I like to have uh, a little I like to have plenty of control with it when I've got a front hopper on I'm you know easing it up sometimes when it starts to bulldoze so I like to use that for that uh, right the multi-controller I love this I love this this layout here of case I love it everything you want here so this is the multi-controller now there's the hair there tortoise there press the hair if you can see it will skip me up those ranges or preset speed should I say so basically I could set like now I'm set at 4.5k um, I've set the next one for let's say uh, let's go down a bit. 5 uh, no, not 5k whatever it's 8k I'll set it 8k so on the headland so when I'm turning on the headland I move a bit faster and then once I've got my turn completed I'll just flick it back down and the maximum speed it won't go any faster than 4.5k so that's that's uh, what, I, what I'd use those two for um, down here that's number five hydraulic remote number five spool on there um, I have that set a lot I like to have that set for my lift and lower of implements so I'm not having to move my hand I just keep it keep it there um, there's a little button behind press that button and hold the bottom button there at the same time and it puts it into float releases the pressure this is for your rear linkage to lift it up and down so you press it once it'll lift it up to where you've got it set as your maximum height press it down and it'll lower it down to where you've got it set for your maximum uh, depth so on here we've got um the minute i've got that tell that's telling me i've got my uh hydraulics and uh rear linkage locked out that's because i've got the hedge cutter on and i don't want to accidentally move my linkage and it knack of the frame on the back this is all to do with your headland management there and um, this is for your preset engine revs now this is handy so if i press that button there look on the screen the revs go up to 1400 revs and that's what I've got the hedge cutter the tractor set at to uh, run the hedge cutter on the PTO now if I press this uh, this button underneath here it'll change it turn my PTO off it'll change it to when I've got it set which is 950 which is when I've got the power hour on in the 1000 PTO that's what we're running at. So I press that button underneath again, it drops back down. Now I can alter that at any time using them. So bear in mind, it's, these aren't like a car, your engine revs are separate to your forward speed on these CVXs. So reversing fan to blow all the rubbish out of your grill, uh, suspend, front suspension lockout, four wheel drive, four wheel drive automatic, diff lock and diff lock automatic. Uh, automatic PTO which is really really handy We're on a power arrow or any, any any driven implement that's on the linkage that you lift up uh, when you're on your headland uh, that's my wheel slip monitor that's to turn it on so I can set the amount of wheel slip that I want the tractor to get to before it lifts the linkage up at the back um, to, to, till I get traction and it'll drop it down again uh, the tick absolutely no idea never used it <laughs> Um, this is to set your obviously the, the little light should be down there because I've got the uh, got the hydraulics locked out. This changes this basically changes your hydraulics around it. It alters your your mid mount hydraulics. So you press that, and the controls go from this being the front linkage to this being acting on the rear spool. Right, so these three lights are like your it used to be like aggression control on the older Pumas. First light it did nothing. Second light when you put your foot down it picked up a bit quicker and third light it set off like a scalded cat now on these ones the newer ones it's different 
I always have it on light number one. Light number one, it's brilliant, it, it's smooth. Um, when you take your foot off the, the throttle, it coasts nicely to a stop. Uh, number two, it's a bit more responsive. Doesn't set off quicker, but it's a little bit more responsive on your your foot. If you've driven a fend, it's a little bit like your angry switch on your fend. And then light number three, people have said to me it's for a load of work. So when you take your foot off it, you know, you're, you're stopping quick. Um, no idea, never used it. Right, this is the, the control for your rear linkage. This sets your depth, not your height. Though you can lift it up with it, but what you'd really do is drop that down. So, you've got numbers that go down there, and then numbers that increase. You drop that to sort of whatever height you want your implement to go at. Set your maximum lift height, which I'll show you in a minute, and then you just use the buttons on here to lower your implement and lift it back up. This is the draft control. There's some sensors on the rear link arms um, that measure the amount of force applied to them, and if you can, you can set the amount of force you want um, to be exerted on them before they react. So when it's down there, it's it's pretty much off, and you can turn it all the way around. So so you know it doesn't take much force at all to, to make them react and when they do react what they do is the tractor will lift the linkage up and basically it's uh, it can be used for you know plowing um, I used to use it subsoiling before I had a wheel slip monitor now in the older tractors now I just use my wheel slip it's much more effective um, we'll go into that in more detail some other time this is how I turn my rear PTO on, lift it up, push it forward, comes on, flick it back, turns it off. Right, hey. so, underneath here we have got, that's another way how I can set the percentage of wheel slip I want the tractor to reach before it does something about it, before the linkage starts to come up. That there's another way that I can control the, the spools, uh, the, the flow rate, use that, press it, a menu comes up, I can adjust the rates from there. That's my maximum lift height. Uh, that's my, sorry, my maximum lift height for my front linkage. Maximum lift height for my rear linkage, say for example, I'll probably use power iron again. You've got a power iron on, you get to the headland, you lift it up, you don't want it to come all the way up because it's, it's, it's pointless, it only needs to be just off the ground for you to turn around so it saves a bit of time um, it's better for, better on your PTO so that's, that's basically why you use that and this is the speed of the arms when they drop down the, the more round towards the hair it is, I don't know if you can see it the faster your arms drop, the more round towards the tortoise the slower it drops and that is your reactions, you can, you can set how quickly it reacts so you have it set quick, it's up and down, up and down, up and down, you can sort of smooth it out, you know, and you play around with that when you're, when you're, uh, when you're working. So I've got the GPS, the uh, Trimble, Trimble GPS, which is marvellous, I love it. It's, uh, it's very intuitive to use, it's very accurate, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. So I'll uh, cover that some other time. So down here, we've got... Um, some electronics, uh, uh, what shall I call them? What shall I call them? Towers to uh, to plug certain things in that need power. A grimy plug down there. Um, this is a PTO brake, and then this is what you set your PTO speed with. So you've got 540, 540E, 1000, and 1000 e I'll go into that some other time explaining the PTO. Um, so, what else is there? Your boots on which isn't normal that's the foot throttle your two uh, two independent brakes brakes your left brakes your right or brakes together if you put that little latch uh, because it's a cbx this isn't really a clutch i never use it the only time i ever really use it is to press it to start the tractor and next to it there is an exhaust brake so that's a, a general overview of the inside of this tractor so Thanks very so much for watching, and I'll see thee. <laughs>